Hey, hey, hey. Stop. It is 9.13 a.m. Not a.m. P.m. 7th of July, 2024. The day 438 or 39 already. Um, let's check it out. Go to achievement, you go find the uh, smiley laughing thingy thing. 439. Man oh man. So quick already. Nearly 40 days went past since the last 400. <laughs> since, uh, since the 400. Wow, okay. Let's not think about how much time I spent playing this game. And... I won't say wasted. There's no such thing as wasted time. No, there's definitely a there, there is definitely time I've wasted my time here. Uh especially like if I the fuck is that? Wait, there's a quest? Um, I did not realize there is quest here. Okay, good to know. Um, because today I thought like, okay, do another run of Divergent Universe. If there is a quest, if that's the case, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quickly spend my power. Um. Sorry. Oh shit, it's really full. I did not even realize it. Uh, 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 uh. Shoot, 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 shoot. Go, 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 go. I'm quickly spend my power. And uh, my brain stopped working. See their quest, I guess. Uh, hopefully, the quest don't take two hours. I, I don't think I can do the quest today, though. Because. I can only stream like an hour, 30 minutes. I worry that quest might take more than that. Because the previous quest, uh, side quest, uh, took nearly two hours. Over two hours, if I'm not mistaken. Um, is it actually over two hours, or am I just being crazy? With me? So, very high chance I'm just being crazy. Load, thank you. <laughs> My PC is gonna go through a hell this time around. My PC is gonna be like fucking dying 24 7. <laughs> oh my god, my nose is so itchy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Uh. Whoa. Actually, no. The previous quest is only like an hour thirty minutes. You know, fuck it. We're gonna do it now. Uh, we're gonna do it. Obviously, after I farm and after I. Um, after I farm and after I do the event, new event, uh, stages. Other than that, the kind of slow. It, I'll be honest. It's a it's Star Rail has been quite slow. Um, not much been going on this patch other than the like the biggest moment is obviously the, the uh, epilogue for the panacone which is great but that's like what four hour gameplay then the mini game where you match three that one is also great uh, but again that one is like under an hour you can finish everything so 
there is like a lot of great moment, but the great moment only lasts like five hour at most. And if we add in the the side quest, which I think is really good. Uh, actually, this decent. It's another like what one and a half hour, around and a half two hour. So that's like what seven hour of content. Plus, obviously, there's a whole divergent universe. Blah blah blah. blah. The other. But divergent universe is a permanent thing, so it's like not many people might just gonna grind the entire thing in one sitting. Or like in one patch. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I already, I'm already thinking like, man, I'm not gonna fucking uh, bash myself until I will beat like threshold six. And all this is so shit. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I just. I feel like nothing much has happened. I can't tell whether like there is nothing much, or there is quite a lot of stuff. But I just gone, uh, just finish them too quickly, right? I just complete them all in one sitting. But I don't think so. I think I feel like I pace myself pretty standardly. Um, I mean, there is still stuff I can do now, and. Apparently, there's still some side quests I have not discovered yet. Yeah, it's just a feeling. Probably next patch, when we go back to the Zenzo, which I assume we are, uh, will be much, much better. Um, better variety in con content, right? Especially like what the whole sword fighting festival, sword fighting. Olympic sports Whatever the fuck March 7 is participating in Sword Dance Festival um, That that by itself sounds interesting enough right Some part of me also think like Maybe I feel this way uh, right now because I'm playing ZZZ and obviously when you start off playing a new gacha there's like a the Z load amount of stuff you need to go through right I still haven't uh, finished the main story in ZZZ yet yeah, yeah that's not sh pretty bad I think I just I just finished chapter two. There's still one last one last chapter, but I need to like level up. So I need to like wait for a while. I feel like other people has already bypassed that level threshold, but it, it, which is like fucking bizarre to me because how do you bypass that level threshold? Right? There's like one entire whole level I need to go through again. I feel like I'm either missing something or I'm like. Uh, they absolutely grind the shit of everything, which could be very likely also. Um, defend HP, crit damage, no. Claim, claim, claim. Do this quickly. Um, should be Robin's one. After ally take damage, sorry, take the action. Advance forward the gift bob action by two point five percent of the action bar. When gift bob action take action, generate energy for all ally increase by three hundred percent. About the above effect is active. Break all enemy with witness break. Uh, use uh, after I like use attack, deal one extra instant of additional damage. Last year, then all enemy exit will state and regain toughness. What the fuck are you saying? Huh? 
Oh, actual shit, are you on about? Really, you only have S. Some they only give S one. Uh, if that's good, then my Robin is just better. Um, huh? I'm generally huh? The fact that the fuck they say to me. Uh, weakness break. I guess. Um. I guess. My no, I need sustain. Uh, fuck. Where the fuck are you adventuring? They should give us a trial adventuring instead of fucking topaz. I don't know why they give us topaz. I think topaz is needed. Um, no choice, lah. I need to bring in you. Let me in. Let me in. Okay. Yes, I understand. I don't understand, but I understand. I I understand enough. That's the that's that's the, that's the that's the main part. Follow up. Ow. Dog. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a bit aggressive, don't you think? Do you not mean to do that? <laughs> I kinda press it. Kinda actually just press it. It's fine. It's not really that bad. Boom, follow up, attack. Oh, that's it. Oh, wait, that's it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm surprised how. I need to keep thinking that, okay, some of these new people are gonna come in, they're gonna have like level 40 character at, at best before they unlock this. Um, game mode in this event. But I also think like, damn, they are fucking weak. I feel like a certain threshold. Like let's say if your character is already level seventy, like the easier side of the content, maybe you can skip. Or like, yeah, maybe. I wasted my out. I thought you're gonna survive like at least a second longer. <laughs> okay, you're dead. Come on, you should have just survived a second longer. Um. You did. Hey, buddy. All things creations. They immediately regen their toughness. Kind of funny, actually. Ow. Actually, yeah, I actually do want uh, her to hit Robin more time. So I gain more stack. No, I'm not. You're doomed to fail. Or something along the line. Is it enough? Not enough. Man, I thought it's enough. 
I say it's could be Kibi. Boom. Bang. Attack. Follow up. Follow up. Through it. Bang. Still need to wait for the thing. Unfortunate. Maybe I have my out one more time. Mm, I feel like I could have. I feel like I definitely could have gotten the uh, defeated her if I don't so f because I the the fifth stage the fifth wave I focus on focus my all my character on that one character that's not weak to fire. I should have swapped my Topaz to target the minion first Then swap back after I kill so it doesn't waste the turn Maybe that would help uh, Doesn't matter In the end, doesn't matter You know what does matter? Me going to do the fucking quest Go! Where is it? Is it in the Radiant Fells far? Is there any... Okay, let me check Is there any other quests? Like... Quests like quest quest that I will miss no right no right I think that's the only one yeah. because it did not even I did not I didn't even realize that the fuck is this or oh, this the uh, the thingy J does it even list the heal? It's not even listed here. That's that's why I was like confused. It's not even listed here, so it's not major enough for for it to be putted there. Putted. But this is still like a quest. One's hexachromatic position is always in flux. Okay. Um. Also, I have a very weird suspicion. My audio is a bit janky. Am I crazy? I need to hear myself first. Um, A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D A B C D. That's indeed how A B C D. I also need to hear the in-game volume, but my the way my browser is is normally softer than what it is. So in order to do it, I need to go here, information, voice, and I am Fu Xuan, head of the Divination Commission. This is our head of the Divination Commission. This is our Okay. That's fine. Um uh, I have met you for the first time many Yes, 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 yes. And close the stream now. Okay, uh where the fuck are you? You're inside, right? You're in here. You must be Miss Yarados. I heard so much about you. I am Mr. Alpha Fascinary and I am secondary. And I'm responsible for co creating the handover of the Radiant Falls Path. Easy now. Yes, organize the agreement between us and the Astra Express. The MSF will be left in your care. Oh shit, I own this spaceship now. 
auto confirm with us they have officially authorized you to be the administrator of the Radiance Fell Spa which means you are the present captain of this ship congratulations next to ensure the airship proper operation you need to hire a reliable first mate to organize its daily affair sure please do not worry I will be assisting you the entire way I'll, I'll help organize the recruitment and you just have to make the final call don't worry, as a show of sincerity from the family to the Astro Express, I have selected a few suitable candidates from the Alfalfa Talent Repository. Ah yes, Pedro. Before that, oh Captain, my Captain. This is annoying because I saw it earlier so I now want to do it now. I'm now the captain of the ship. Fear me. As all would. And all should. There we go. Not simple enough. God, what the fuck? random ass notification from discord from a random server that I don't remember joining uh, whatever it's got a shit on me okay um, so stuff like this Can I just... Ooh, the answer is that no, I can't. Huh? That's not it? Really? That's not it? Okay. Um... Here, right? Because there's like nowhere, or oh, unless no, it has to be here because there's nowhere else for me to go otherwise. Initial setup is fine, like this one, like this. Then you cover here. Like this. But fucking just walk over, mate. This thing being under is actually kind of annoying. Um, the next best thing is like here. But how do I connect here? It's like right there. Look at this. It's right there. So it's like I feel like this is the correct way. Now I just need to find a way to establish you. It's so close. Unless, wait, can I? No, it's not the same length. I'm going crazy. How the fuck is this? <laughs> Keep going to the back solution. Ah, uh, huh? Wait, here, here, here. Something tell me it's no. That is whole s here. What the 
fuck? Am I crazy? But this is like the hardest thing ever. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. No, this is the same thing again. I literally keep going back to the same area. There's no path here that can help. It's right there. Like, it's right there. Like, come on. Hmm. <sighs> We're not gonna do the main quest now. I'm gonna stuck here doing this forever. I give up. <laughs> I give up. There's no way. There's no way this is that crazy of a fucking level. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna murder someone. Someone's gonna someone's gonna get murdered. <laughs> someone is gonna get murdered tonight. I feel like I have done that. How have I not done that? It's disgusting. It's the most disgusting shit ever. No, I collect. Okay, well, uh, 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 oh, I need to talk to you first. Allow me to introduce them. Our member one is Rosa, a Halloween. Uh, she is also known as the Iron Lady in the circle. Number two is Chad, uh, Chopwick, an ele elegant Etrillian armed with PhD in management. The third and final candidate is Pedro, a Pepeshi hailing from a lineage of navigators and is a veteran spacefarer. Who will you choose? I'll learn more about the Shua Rosa. I'm somewhat in rela uh, relentless when it comes to a pursuit of detail. I hope to work with you if I get a chance. Rosa Mitilis' vigor and speed in executing tasks are well known. Um, she always put her employee first, employer first uh, and once proclaimed that she would never place additional burden on them. Addition, ad according to the clause restrict imposed by the agreement, once you employ the current first mate, you are prohibited from changing your selection unless the first mate commit and act of gross mean conduct, the unprofessional dismissal of your first mate will incur a massive compensation fee. Please take note of that. Let me let, let me let me listen to all of them. I'm I'm child wit and I heard about your fees a plenty. If I may be honored allowed the honor, I will be more than glad to be serviced. I was awarded the best superior five years in a row by the Navigators Association, providing that he is, has greater stellar performance in the domain of talent management. Yeah, yeah. 
How about you, Pedro? My captain, I wonder if be, I'll be lucky enough to flaunt my skill under your command. My, uh, Mr. Pedro is famed for his tenuous character and extensive network. His capability and influence are also outstanding among his peers. <sighs> All of them is pretty meh. <laughs> meh. Why are you glitching? Why is your eye glitching? You know what, Chow Wait, you have... Fuck it, welcome in, buddy. Hiring our first, first mate. Here's your newly appointed first mate. The onboarding training has been completed, but first, uh, are still some miscellaneous handover issue that need to be handled on the ship. I'll leave you two on it. The facility bow finally and also raising approval steadily depart. Hey buddy. I'm sure it's an honor to be your first mate. There is certain ship radio matter I must report to you. There are more uh, problems I noticed when I have set foot on the airship. The first being I've prepared a set management guideline which I hope uh, will be apparent uh, to to while aboard the airship. Please grant my request. Tell me. They are based on trust as well as my insight on humanity. I hope they can provide sufficient professional professional freedom for the crew member. I believe in giving the crew member their space with hope of inspiring them to realize their own potential and creativity. As long as they are able to accomplish their task, they have more freedom to organize their personal working style. From my own experience, this will immensely increase productivity for the crew as well as team bond bonding. From the trust given to them, they will often uh, perform with elevated intuition and show a great sense of responsibility. So I implore you to allow me to follow this manager for a trial period. Sure. Captain, thanks for your sensitivity uh, for your trust in me. I'll follow this guy for a while, then evaluate and adjust the plan based off the outcome. I'm confident that you'll see satisfactory results soon. Okay. I'll salute to you, I guess. Suddenly tell me if I choose either one of them, there's gonna be trouble. Oh. Captain, it's an honor to see you again. I recruit a new crew member based on my own management guideline. Uh, 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 tell me. The feedback from our guests overwhelming, overflowing with praises. With the freedom and trust given to the crew, their performance level has increased and the guests on the airship has been showing us with, showering us with compliments. Actually, we also got a glowing recommendation from the from a la famous travel influencer. All this event proved the efficientness of my management guideline. With a success and door in hand, I would like to suggest a few improvements to make to the airship. A couple of crew members have come forth with feedback on the issue they are facing in a certain area. I will need your help to conduct a site visit with me. Okay. This is the suggestion given by the crew member. It's time to change the empennage and the name of this airship to denote the change that have taken uh, place since the airship change of hand. I believe this change will be able to evaluate our brand image. Can I give your opinion on this? Just use my name and face. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's, let's see some suggestion. The bed design must be attractive to guests and emphasize your style. Uh, you're the captain. It's of utmost importance to consider your aesthetic preference. Do you have a favorite person uh, or thing to use as a mascot of the airship? Okay. Now, I would say trash can. Blood. Blood? But clocky? But this is no longer my mascot. But this does is but it's like very I don't know, very sweet if I do put Clocky in. Because Clocky is part of the trailblazer. Like he is just a trailblazer. Though I Though he have he have Clocky actually ever been a uh, on board ship? Because I think Clocky only Form when 
Mikhail came to Panacone, right? That's only how uh, Clocky has become a thing? Or was it during his timeline when he's younger? Could be the case. Huh. But trash candle. Oh, this is gonna. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, by using a well known image in Pentagon, this will save a fortune in potential costs. Then uh, the actual new name shall henceforth be called the Soaring Clock Hand. Only with the airship helmed by Clocky is worthy of his guest. Please hold a moment. Repaint the affinity of the airship. Do we get to see it? I use the Dream Valve uh, to record your preference proposal. It also includes different options to prepare for the possibility of future repaint. Oh, that's nice. The main job of the FNA is complete. The crew has been informed of the name change and everyone is happy with it. Is happy with it. Also, I received feedback that the crew member would uh, wish to honor you by placing your statue in a prominent gallery. Captain, please follow me. Also, I, I don't consider pom pom because pom pom is part of, has to be um, associated to the Astro Express, like the train Astro Express. Uh, this is his own thing. I don't want uh, to impose pom pom into like pom pom. Just imagine just walk, uh, pom pom just hear the news. Oh look, uh, there's a ship uh, named after the. Then pom pom's like, what the fuck. Usually bustling here. Once you bought the airship, you have to pass by here no matter where you're going. Uh, this crew suggests that we place the statue of your bus mm, here. <laughs> I think it's a great way for our team to show our respect to and trust your, in your leadership. Actually, it will strengthen our team unity. We have many new recruits. One among them have been graduated from the Paper Folk University. He has already tried Printing your statue. I wonder if you agree to having it placed here. Yes, don't bring it up if it's shit. Please be ready. I check it. This aesthetic are good. It's able to replicate at least sixty percent of your appearance. That's like shit, no? <laughs> That's like horrendously bad. If it's just sixty percent, how many times I seen it? I still taken a bite. The statue look refreshing. Unrivaled by any captain in this industry. Captain, please stand here beside the statue so that I can see if it's there any issue with the details. The facial is identical, just as beautiful as everything. You look so young, this actually lacks some detail, but it makes you look more imposing in contrast. Sure. I don't know about the statue, that is not appropriate. Uh, there's just one last thing to report. A crew member discovered an issue during routine cleaning of the captain cabin. Please follow me to take a look. A lot of L of them are still just called new attendant. The crew member suggests hanging a painting of you here while you have the A ship. Uh, when when you leave the A ship, your present will. That's why all the fucking poster is my face or the trailblazer face. I was so confused the entire time. I'm like, why is that like a walking poster, just with my face about? I thought it have to do with the uh, divergent universe because I'm friend with uh, Scrollum. I'm friends with Dr. Ratio and whatever, whatever. I honestly, I did forget that we own this spaceship. Like, I generally forgotten about that part of the deal. I just only remember we got 5% of Panacone and that's it. I've forgotten that this spaceship is also technically, I mean, it is now ours. So... Also, because everywhere I have my fucking figure already, I feel like we don't need to put another picture of my uh, of the showblazer face. We are a team. Everyone wish to see you, no matter the form. The group members would suggest this was an apprentice of master painter who also long admired the legend of the nameless and had your uh, portrait painted long ago. Please really decide whether you want to hang up the painting. Our crew really can't do anything. 
Okay, the Magic Manga line, I allow people to showcase their art, especially. It was pure coincidence that we met, we meet someone who can draw. This is just like every other painting. Okay, in the middle of the post in the painting, it will be, it, it, I would like to see if there was any mistake in the details. Okay, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, that your aura can't be duplicated wholly on paper, but this is fine too. I hope you enjoy this painting. I, compare, I completed my report on all the feedback from the crew and the administrative staff of the airship. Usually, I'll be standing by the wheel of the airship. I'll report back anything that come up until we meet again. Oh, that's it. What happened if we choose other people? Yes. Oh, we did right now. Hello, you know those? Uh, this is your delivery person. Um, you have a package that's delivered to the Soaring Clock Hand Logistic Hub. Who's a sender? Oh, let me take a look. Uh, it says the sender is a uh, Mr. Adventurine. The first may say he will take it to the captain quarter for you. Thanks for coming over. Please sign for your delivery. Before you sign, please check that the content is not damaged if anything is missing or if the product, uh, if there are problems with the color, quality, please contact me anytime. If there is no issue, please give me a five-star rating. Thank you so much. It will be all good if I only pick it up after the whole period. Oh. Captain, a package. Oh, did not read that in time. I waited right for you, collector. Like, I brought it over. I didn't see you, so I'm wondering if it's okay to leave it inside, huh? But you came out right time. If uh, you call me if you need anything. Oh, this does look like adventuring stuff. The way is neither damaged nor dirty, uh, and as a seal intact, your name is printed clearly on the recipient uh, field on the way bill. I did not know that's what it's called. With adventuring listed as a sender, the. Interrestrial Peace Corporation's mark of authenticity has also been carefully made visible on the package. Just subconsciously let out a sigh of relief, now knowing that this is not a prank, but one of those masks full. How can you say it's not though? <laughs> though you cannot be absolutely certain either, at least not until the content of the package are revealed. Fair enough? Or whatever, it is what it is, just open the package. The package is stuffed full of pangolin specialty. After thinking about, uh, after thinking about it for a while, you are certain that the native of some planet called the Amprom act of delivering good, uh, delivering gift, feeding. According to local customs, such behavior is viewed as a symptom of friendship. After a brief search, you take a note sitting beneath the layer of extinguished gift. It seems that a coin has been taped onto it. Turn out the coin is merely a hidden token. Uh, and not some other valuable metal trinket, a pity, but at least there's no need for you to bite into a coin now. You pick up a note which, uh, upon which for uh, the following has been written. Using this coin, I won the capture machine grand pass seven times in a row. Hopefully, you'll be blessed with good luck as well. This note was clearly signed by the IPC representative adventurer himself without a shadow of a doubt. Okay, you continue to rummage through the package, checking to see if there's anything you missed. Sure enough, at the bottom of the package, you find another elegant wrapped box. Oh, like nesting doll. All that's left to do is find what's inside. Go bar, perhaps? That sounds like something adventure will give to others. Your engineer tell you that he's like another rich person that you met abroad the space station, since both of them share their wealth with their friend. Sure, open up. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Dude, that is the sh Oh my lord, I want that! As with the coin, a handwritten card has been placed in the box. I'd like to conjure the Astro Express on a coin, the Soaring Clock hand with this little gift. Given that, the gi or given that this gift was meant to conjure the Astro Express, you should let the others know about this as well. I received a gift, it got sent to the soaring clock hand I when they sent it, this was inside Oh, it's a model, that brand is renowned for making quality product If I'm not this is a limited edition oh. Open the window, are you figure, are there figure of us inside? This is a major look at the website, it's looking at the exterior, I don't think it's designed to be open I used to collect model back home um, Based on my experience, if there's additional accessories, they'll usually uh, display separately 
Wow, where do you get that? It's so pretty. Let me read. Where do you get that? It's so pretty. I want one too. Shouldn't there be one for the conductor? You have to ask the other about that. Doesn't seem like there's only one. Uh, there's only some other snack and beverage in the package. Maybe your package are still on the way. I already received this one. I don't have a package tracking number. I don't receive anything either. Look like you just don't want to got it. I'll take the snack if you don't want them. You shouldn't give the conductor too much junk food. We'll be in trouble if they get the runs. Just hmm. aside, this look like it's specially wrapped, uh, prepared for your readers. When we did the behave, uh, handover for the soaring clock hand uh, with the family, I allow everyone just immediately changed, uh, able to change the name on the spot. We came to the consensus that the ownership of the ship should belong to the express passenger, passenger, passenger who contribute the most to Pentagon. In other words, the soaring clock hand only has one owner right now, and that is Yarudos. This gift is for you. Wow. Really blushes. Hang on, I'm going to get a lottery ticket now. We're gonna share the winning among us. Even if we win the grand prize, you're more than deserving of it. Oh, this is sick. A miniature model based on the current Astra Express, a very expensive limited edition item paid by Aventurine himself. That's what I got. A symbol of fortune. Oh, lucky X. That is nice. Oh, that is great. Chadwick, you know what? You did well today. Oh shit, there's something else. Let's nice meet Captain. You'll find that none of the life storms here are perfect, myself included. Nevertheless, every flight is an opportunity to grow. With you leading us, I'm sure we're able to improve and getting better. I'm honored to be your first mate. May you and your company find self worth and place. Uh, to belong in the future, Captain. Yes, after a strict screening process, I recruited him from the kitchen of the restaurant. Although he doesn't have the required experience, he's a gifted one. I am certain he will soon uh, become an indispensable member of our team. Thank you for compliment. I'm grateful for all the training you've given me. While the professional experience and ability of the newly recruited crew member does don't seem to meet the hiring criteria, it is my belief that every living things have their own unique potential uh, and value. Uh, this thing can't be measured through traditional means. Looking at the current situation of the airship staff, what we lack isn't skilled attendance, but enthusiastic crew member who cherish the opportunity they are given. That sounds deep. <laughs> When they say they don't meet the high grade, it means that their professional experience and ability don't match or may even contradict past requirement for creating crew member for of the Radiant Falsfa. Okay. You want to keep discussing the art of talent management chat with, but just as you're about to speak, you notice that the new recruited crew member from before has barely left the conversation at some point, leaving you two in chat in private. You are astonished by their attack. Uh, did they think of themselves, think of this themselves, or was it a result of chat with mentorship? Captain, your express tell me you have a question. Ask away and have it as well. Something I want to know. Please ask away. Tell me about your management philosophy. The management strategy I've adopted including customize a personalized development plan based on the criteria of each individual. I have deep conversation with every one of the group member uh, to learn their interest, strength, and dream. I use the information to create a job that suits them to the T. I do find this process time consuming, but all the preparation will only help the task go more smoothly. If we can get our crew member to maximize their potential, the quality of the service we render will follow with parallel increase. Give them integrated freedom and ample understanding unlock their highest potential. Micromanaging them, on the other hand, will only end up selling the captain's reputation. We used to have a crew member back in the airship kitchen. He was always sneaking uh, bites of food, something the former captain considered criticizing him for. As time went by, the former captain becomes associated with a negative label with uh, like being cold and unfeeling. After you appointed me as first mate, I noticed this crew member keen eye for detail and his tremendously high standard for food quality. For those reasons, I transferred him to the work in the supply chain for ingredients, where he naturally became the star employee of the department. We're receiving nothing but positive feedback so far, Captain. A guest even wrote a letter of commendation uh, sorry, a commendation for an attendant who introduced him to Bli uh, Bliliad. 
According to him, our staff display impeccable professionalism and show genuine care and concern for guests, which made him feel important and valued throughout the state. Some employees also came to me with feedback, though this mainly pointed out service aspect with room for improvement. All of this has been duly recorded and change will be gradually rolled out at appropriate juncture. I will be that a blind pursuit of profit will never work out, which explains why I prefer a humanistic management. It's a shame many remain unconvinced by my philosophy. I remember that Intellitron do not understand human. It's a good thing you are not like them. Captain, thank you for placing your trust in me. Uh, thank you. This seem way too good to be true. This seem like I choose all the best answer. You know, it's like you 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 write all your answer in C and all the answer is correct. And it's like, huh? No, no, it's the other way around. It's like the let's say like MCQ question, right? You do them, you realize the first question answer is C, the second answer is C, third answer is C. Then you start to like debate yourself whether or not is it actually the C, the following question. Or you're just thinking, or you're just being crazy about it. Have I not displayed this? Oh, I assume I already displayed that. Huh. Complete the adventure mission cloak bound huts. Receive the package delivered by the on the soaring clock hand. Rename the radius and change the name paint scheme. Cap uh, enter the Captain Gordon on his own hand for the first time. Yeah, that's a lot of jade. Is there a lot of jade? That's a lot of jade. Wow, wow, wow. Um, that's a good quest. That's a really good quest. I'm surprised that there's even a quest like that in this game. Ooh. Collect. Oh, there's a chest there. And it's not that long actually. I, I managed to do it all under like 40 minutes. See, now it makes sense why this thing is here. But, but can you like not <laughs> be here? Oh, uh, where's the Epigonish? Epigonish? Actually, I want to see the Apurganish. Whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, look at it. This is what they call it looks cool. It looks good. It actually looks good. Actually, you know what? I want to look it up. Um, what the other design is. Honkai Star Rail uh, Radiant Spell Spa. Remodel. More sugar intake needed. Time for some sweet tea. Uh, sorry, really, uh, it's a change. Okay. Huh? So, bo 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 Okay, yeah, okay. So, um, the ship. Oh, this is what they call. Okay, if you choose pom pom, it's called the Trailblaze Stern. Uh, if you choose the trash can, it is Tata Loft. And obviously, Clocky is the Soaring Clock Hand. Um, it's not bad. Actually, all of them design is really good. Uh, even the trash can, honestly, is not bad. Um, but you know what? I, I, I like sticking. You apparently can change the... You can change the, the picture. Not picture. The, the design. Yeah. That's neat. No. 
Mini Captain. The fuck are you? The pre sale for the Captain Merchandise has started. Why is the merchandise so popular? It's because Captain is too charming. Well, the current Captain, that's me, so. You notice your portrait of the billboard uh, and are shocked by the shamelessness of the advertising slogan. Notice that your gaze has been fixed on it. It looks as you and scan your face before nearly crashing at excitement. You stare at each other in silence, leading to a comedic astur- a comical absurdity. Decide to say uh, something to break apart this awkward silence. Its reaction leaves you speechless. In this billboard, only capable of repeating what others say, why does it keep copying what you say? You really have no idea what else to say. Is this robot only capable of repeating what other blah? Oh, how did I accidentally say what I'm thinking? I'm not a repeater, Captain. Is it really you? Just say what on your mind. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I'm still trying to uh, learn your pron- pronoun. <coughs> My apology, I'm still trying to learn your pronunciation and got too excited seeing you in person. So I got tongue tied and ended up saying gibberish. Captain, do you come here just to see me? Or do you need something? Don't worry, just speak your mind. I'm a great listener. Not today, sir. Shadow Captain. I'm not today, sir. Why is that fucking why is that fucking mini me? Why is that fucking mini me? Okay, mini me. That's always a mini me. Okay, I am um fucking tired. Uh, now I play. How long did I play? I play like like six. No, how long? I started since two. Uh, one, two, three, four. Six. Yeah, almost like six hour with some break, obviously intermediate break. Six hour of ZZZ. So, um, because there's just so much stuff to do there. Now, now that I can stop, I finally like ah yes, freedom, playing Star Real, just chill and relaxing. Then I notice there's a fucking quest. I'm like ah fuck, here we go again. But you know what? This quest is good. I like it. It's it's there's no combat. There's no nothing. You just design your ship. Choose your first mate, and I uh, ten out of ten quest for not being uh, for being the right quest at the right time. Yeah. With that, thanks so much for coming by. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.